This is Interstate 22. We are heading east to Fulton, Mississippi. Exit 85, Natchez Trace Parkway. I biked that years ago. I can't wait to see it again. It's where I caught the long distance bug. <laughs> and now we're long distance in an RV. Good morning, fellow RVers. This is Gary with Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. And I'm getting ready to do a review, a review of this park we're currently staying at. And there's the wife and the dogs. Now this park is called Witten Park, W-H-I-T-T-E-N Park. And it's located close to Fulton, Mississippi, which is not far from Tupelo, Mississippi, for all you Elvis fans. And today is November 3rd. It's about 9.30 in the morning, daylight savings time now. Uh, we're looking in the 40s, the weather, 40s to upper 60s, low 70s. So we're going to walk around Whitten Park. It's a Corps of Engineer Park. And let you get a look at this park. You might like to stay here. Now as you come in the main road right here, You'll pass the host, the check-in station. Now currently we're on honor system. Grab the envelope, pay your dues, hang your ticket on your post. They're not doing reservations at recreation.gov currently. And where that camper is sitting, that's the dump station. And we also have the playground here. And over behind the swing set, the play area right there for kids, you have a asphalt, basketball courts, and volleyball court. You also have two pavilions located here. There are more throughout the park and a restroom. Now back over there, where you see that one travel trailer, that would be the first loop. And then you would continue down this main road here to get to the other two loops. And there's also a boat ramp here and the Witten Historical Center. So let's go take a look at these. And this would be the first loop that you would encounter as you enter the park, it'll be to your left, and these are sites 1 through 19. They're back in sites, they're all wooded. There's a nice little grass area in the center. There is a nature trail that goes around this whole park and goes in between all the loops and also to the historical center and to several docks out on the waterway. But this would be your first loop. as you enter the park. And the dump station and the dumpsters are right here by the first loop. All right, now me and the wife have walked down the road and actually this road will be the first road to your left before you come to the check-in station. And this is the uh, boat parking area. This is the parking lot for the boats. It's a pull around here. And that is the boat ramp. To me, it's a little on the steep side. A uh, dock down there that could use maybe a little TLC. And that is the, uh, the waterway out there. Tennessee, Tom Bigby, waterway. Kind of opens up to what looks like a lake. Yeah. 
T O M B I G B E E. Tom Bigby Waterway. And then right off this area, there's a restroom and there's a nature trail that goes from this parking lot to the next loop to the visitor center. So we're going to walk this nature trail and I will show you a little bit of that. Well, we've left the boat parking lot right there past that bathhouse and you come into this first pavilion right here. It's on the water and you have a boat dock down there or a dock you can walk out on. Then here you have the steps going down to the trail. So we're going to walk down those steps and over that bridge show you some of the trail. Steps going down to the trail. Let us proceed. So this is what the nature trail would be like going through this park. You have a paved footpath and there's one bridge and there's another bridge. There's some tables and this is what the path looks like as it winds throughout the whole park. Well, we're continuing to walk down the trail, me and Tara. Oh yeah, we do have a couple of people straggling behind us. Oh, look at there. That's Luna and Sharon. And as you would cross over this bridge, you could actually walk up that hill into the first camping loop. We're going to continue along that way. Now, at one point when you exit the trail, you will come to the Witten Historical Exhibit Building, which I believe is closed for the season. We haven't uh, seen it open. It's on the uh, waterway. And the trail picks up again on the other side of this building. And continues on. This is the historical center. Actually, this is the back side of the historical center. The main entrance is to the other side. They do have a pier here which extends about 400 feet out into the waterway and we're going to walk to that now and this is the way to get to the pier through this wooded area. Now, this whole park is wooded like this, even the campsites. And it's really nice. And this would be the long pier that goes out into the waterway. And we just came from that way. We love the trails here. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's a nice, bright, sunny, cool morning. Well, right back there is the visitor center. And we just took a little shortcut through the trees there. Came out here on site 16. As you can see, that's the back end. And this is the second loop. Comes in off the left. Has the uh, restrooms here. Loops around. Now those little buildings there, we think they used to have bending machines in them. They don't have them now. But this is uh, the second loop. And as you can see, the water's right out there. So we're going to continue on down to that corner right there and pick the trail back up again. Well, the trail came out over there by that little pickup truck. And this is loop one. There you have the, uh, the bathhouse. I think it was 1 through 16. That actually has a soda machine in it, that little hut there. And this is the loop, first loop. It's on the water. There's an access to a dock down there where that steps are. So now we're going to continue on the trail right here and go to loop 2. As you can see, that used to be a light 
And if you go there where my wife is, there's a light there, so a light up there, and another light up there. So at one time, somebody put a lot of thought into this park, and all these, this used to be a lighted trail. Now, a lot of the lights are now been removed, taken off, and don't work. Um, I don't know if they re... They fix these during the prime season. This is off season, but uh, I can imagine that this trail through the woods at night with all the lights would be very uh, scenic. Now, right by this park, as you can see, there's a full marina, big boats, and that's located right up the street from the park itself. Now, that's not part of the park, it's private, but it is a nice marina. And there's the trail down there where my wife is walking out onto the waterway and we walked up the little hill to this second loop this loop was busy over the weekend i think it was a large family reunion was here and there's the bathhouse here and this is your second set of loops fishing that way That was the loop I just showed you. Loops on around. And then you have this driveway that goes to that. It's almost like a double loop. This was a very busy area. So this would be site 26 and 25. And as you can see, not all of them were level. That's quite an uphill back end as is that one, but a lot of them are level, but you do have these type mixed in throughout the park. Now we're going to pick the trail back up here and continue around. And this is the last loop. If you go continue down that road, you will circle around and continue on straight to the check-in station. Site 56. And these are nice big back end sites. That area back there is actually three sites. One common back end road. And then you would continue on around past that lady. Now, RV life, 56. This was our original home. And we stayed here for a few days until the transfer switch on our motor home decided to break so we had no shore power and had to use our generator until we could get to a location to get it fixed purchase the transfer switch so we had to move to site 42 from 56 to 42 so that we would be away from people so that we could run our, our generator so we really liked this site it was water view i mean it was rainy and if it's windy and cold, you're going to get some lake wind off this, uh, this little the waterway here. And even though it looks sunny, it's a shady cold site compared to Site 42. Yeah, we, were, we moved over to, out of the wind, sun, and it was noticeably warmer. But we did like this site. It was very scenic. And maybe in the spring, summer months, this would be a great site. 56 or even 57. I think any of these sites along this way, this, uh, this road, this back loop, are nice waterfront sites. Yeah, I like now that. when you stay at this park, they do have two different prices. You get your premium site price and your normal site price. And I believe that these sites back here were the premium, mm -hmm. yes. which are $24. A night and the non premium are $22 a night. There's not a big difference there. And this is the bathhouse for the back loop. Both me and my wife used this bathhouse. Water pressure was great, hot water, clean, privacy was good. No issues at all with this bathhouse. And there's another one of those little vending machine huts. There's no vending machines in that one, though. And that is the loop going back. 
washer and dryer. Dollar a load. And this, of course, would be the loop back around. And right up there where we are, the only motor home pulled in backwards because of our, we didn't want our generator noise to bother people. That's where we moved to. And today is Sunday, and we're getting ready to head out, headed toward Birmingham, Alabama. Get this thing fixed. So this is our current site. As you can see, this is where the back loop splits. And behind us, we have these steps. Goes up to our picnic table. Lantern holders. Grill. And that's all gravel set against the wooded area. So we really enjoyed our stay here at Witten Park outside of Fulton, Mississippi, Corps of Engineer Park. The, the aesthetics of this park were great with the sites nestled in amongst all these trees. The walking trail was nice. The visitor sent the Witten Historical Center we didn't get to go into because it was closed. But you're 6.2 miles from Walmart, city of Fulton, all kind of restaurants and shops up there, very close to the park. A really nice biking trail coming to this park that's very long, rail trail. We are staying at the Witten Army Corps of Engineer Park, which is right down that road right there. And there is this bicycle trail, which is just killing me. I haven't been able to play on because it's been so cold or raining. This morning it was 31 and we're having RV electrical issues, so we're just kind of trying to decide what to do next. But look, I did not know this was a thing. Wait, Luna. Underground Railroad Bicycle Route. 2,006 and a half miles. Underground Railroad Bicycle Route. And it goes all the way from Mobile, Alabama, all the way and does like a circle around um, Erie, up into Canada. Anyway, how cool is that to check that out? The Natchez Trace runs close to here in Tupelo. If, you want, if you're an Elvis fan, there's Elvis exhibits, of course, in his birthplace. The bathrooms are great. The Verizon service is great. No problems there. The dog walking, if you've got dogs you like to walk dogs or just walk or ride, there's, a, there's lots of place here to do that. We're going to be headed out in a few minutes. Today is Sunday, November 3rd. We're going to be headed toward uh, Birmingham, Alabama. As I alluded to, we have some motorhome issues with our transfer switch. So we're going to go up there when we get a part and get it fixed. So we can be back on electric and not just on generator. So we, uh, this is Gary then, Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. Click the bell. Like, subscribe, we appreciate it. Keep you posted on our other adventures. See you on the road. Stay safe. On the road, heading east on Interstate 22, heading, headed towards Birmingham. We're going a little bit south of Birmingham. We need to have some work done. And then on to Montgomery, Alabama area. But first our little stop off at Camping World.